fellow space engineers, Commander Kingfish here, and uh, we are into day four, stranded on this planet, and we managed to at least establish some sort of small base after uh, moving down from where our temp base is, and I think I mentioned in the last episode I was going to go and start... Uh, salvaging that. I'm going to wait until I have a full cargo or a cargo ship that uh, is a lot easier to handle and make uh, a lot fewer trips. So today what I wanted to do while we have some sunshine is to do a little bit of running around and search f for some more ores and metals to see if we can find it. So I'm going to hop in the buggy here and we're going to take off. Let me double check my food supply. Uh, not too bad. And I have food with me. So we can do that. I think I've got stuff making in here. Let's let's just check and see what we got. Yeah, I got food with me. And we've got... Uh, we can get ice pretty much anywhere. we got the organics and gravel, so... Uh, we are using that. Let me pop that up there. We should ha we should have enough. We should be good. So let's uh, let's get going. Let's hit the road and, and try to scan some of this area here and see where we're at. So we have our batteries pretty well charged up. We're on auto. We're ready to go. The gyro is ready. Uh, let's uh, hit. Uh, one and let's uh, s see where we can head to i would kind of been up that valley over there so let's uh, let's head up in this well no I've been up in that I wanted to I wanted to head back this direction uh, oh let me make sure I better turn the ore scanner on otherwise that will be a bit of a farce but I wanted to go up this draw back over here. So once I get up and over into that area, I'll catch back up with you. All right, we're approaching this draw here. Let's let's see if there's anything of interest up and in here. It looks promising, but you know, it's been hard to find the types of ores that we need. I'm hoping that something's going to be up and in here. We're quite a ways from the coal fields, and so there isn't anything else around aside from ice. So let's just see what we got up and in here. Not seeing anything to speak of yet. It always makes me nervous when those pound a little bit. off the rocks nice valley up here gosh there's got to be something up here right it's a little bumpy wow That's one of the things with this mod. It certainly makes finding the resources a bit harder. Let's get a little farther up. Just maybe we'll be on the outer edges of something. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything up and in here. And that's about as far as we can go. Let's see. Let's kind of traverse over this direction. seeing anything up and in here. Alright, well, when I get back down into the valley again, if I, or if I find anything, I will uh, get back with you. Right now, 
we're not having too much luck. Well, I'm heading back down into the valley now. I did not find anything up in that uh, plateau or we went up pretty far up into the mountains or I went up pretty far up into the mountains up here. Let's see, I'll show you where I got to. Let's kind of swing around here. I went back all the way back up and in there and did not find anything. So we're heading, we're heading back down into the valley and we're gonna cover some more of that valley floor and see if we can find something. Hopefully, we will be able to find something besides ice. The coal's going to, to help us, but we've got to find some other stuff to go along with that, because the coal is going to be a great source for energy, for producing our power. And I really want to be able to to utilize it. Well, I have found nothing yet, but you can kind of see that ice lake over there. Here, let me uh, move, move over a little bit better. I've gone up onto this hillside up and in here, and you can kind of see the rugged terrain that's around here. See if I can keep from crashing too much and see if we can get down here a little better view. Uh, let's try this over here. Yeah, this is going to be good. Get up here. Uh, nothing so far, though, as far as... metals. Let's me park this. Let's kind of zoom back a little bit. Yeah, there's the ice lake. I uh, drove all the way down through there in the dark trying to find stuff and that's what I'd found those ones uh, which is real nice. There's silicon down and in there but I found nothing else. So I think I'm going to start working my way back. I wanted to just kind of cover this area a little bit and we'll start getting back. I got some things I want to get done at the base anyway. So uh, when I, if I find something on the way back, I'll certainly let you all know. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll uh, meet you back at the base. Well, I see the base approaching, and obviously, we did not find anything. We've still got a lot of more area to explore, but I wanted to get back. I've got some, uh, I want to get some more expansion done on the base, and I, because I think that's important. So we'll get back over here, we'll get the uh, buggy uh, uh, plugged in, and uh, let's. Uh, We'll get some work done on the base today. Wanted to, to get some of the fabricators in, uh, extractors, extruders, stuff like that. Uh, and start getting some production going. All right, we're here. That's on auto. Let's, uh, we can turn the ore detector off. We can turn the gyros off. I don't think I have anything over here other than the wheels. No, we're good. So let's hop out of here and let's uh, get this hooked up. battery there that's going to keep the battery charged up plus it's going to give us our some uh, some power to the base all right well let's see what do we got here I need to grab a little bit of this steel so we can kind of start laying out 
Uh, I think what I'm going to do is kind of start moving out in this direction. Uh, let's start uh, placing down a few more blocks. And so the first thing what I want to do is get the fabricator built. Uh, we need I need a conveyor. Let's see. Uh, mainly this way it uh, gives us the opportunity. So we'll put a conveyor in there. Then get back over to here. Uh, we want a fabricator. Let's hit the uh, production blocks. And here's my fabricator. It will allow us Let's see, we want, it only has one port on it. Let me get this turned over right. I think that is correct. And that's the way I want that. So it will be able to pull in from the conveyor and the other components will be able to pull from it. And this produces a lot of the stuff that the assembly bench does. So we've got that there. The next thing I wanted to get going today is the wire factory. Let's get it pulled up here. Wire, wire, wire. Missions, extruder. We're going to want that wire drawer. And that can go right here. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it's the same from both. Yeah, let's put it like that. We wanted the wire drawer. And then the extruder. Uh, let me put some more blocks down here. Uh, let's connect those. How many blocks do I have? I better get some more steel going. Gonna have to do some mining today as well. Uh, get that out of the way. Uh, let's see, production. Let's get. Uh, gonna need a bunch of this stuff, so let's get that going for now. All right. I at least wanted to get the the wireframes up, and you can kind of see what we're doing here today. We can get this stuff done. Oh, out of blocks, of course. Uh, then it'll be a fairly productive day. We'll see how much we can get done here. Uh, once I get this set up, then I need to start looking at setting up some sort of mining for stone so that we can start feeding that stuff in. So. Let's uh, grab some of these plates here while that's working away. Uh, we still, we're going to be running out of iron pretty soon here, so I am going to have to do some mining. All right. Uh, so we have the wire factory. Then I wanted to put uh, the extruder in, which is right here. Again, that is pretty basic. That's what it looks like. I'll just plop that down right there. And then I wanted to put in an assembler. And so that's for mods. I only have one. Eventually I'll get that built. Uh, this is... Let's see, right? Yeah, that's the right assembler. And I want to hook it up straight up. I think I want to bring it up like that. And I have to put it in that way. So it has a port at the top. 
and on the bottom and around the bottom. It's basically like the regular assembler. So I uh, wanted to, that way it's all connected. It can pull its resources all the way from the smelter. So I think at this point, let me get started working on some of this. I'll start getting some of this all welded up. I know I'm gonna have to go uh, mine some stone. So uh, let me uh, get started working on this and I'll get back with you when I get some stuff done. Well, I think I better check on the battery, see how it's doing. I was noticing that the wind turbines are going pretty slow. So while we're working on parts, I might need to get another wind turbine up there. So let's just see. Uh, control panel, battery. Fully depleted in 25, 24 minutes. Uh, output, and we don't have much coming in. Our wind turbines are, well, we only got 13.8, that's with the weather, so we're only getting 98. I think I want to get another wind turbine going so that when the weather does change, as you can see, we're getting snow and uh, it's a pretty calm day. So let me get started on getting another wind turbine going up there and see if we can keep from going completely dry here. Okay, I got a couple of wind turbines at least in place. I just got to build them out. I'm going to at least get one built and hopefully uh, that will help. Uh, but what's really going to help is to have our weather change back. So let me get down there and start getting the parts for these and then we can get back to building the rest of the stuff. All right, we've got uh, another uh, wind turbine up and running. Let's hope that the weather's going to start improving. I'll check on the battery and see how it is doing. Oh. Battery. Okay. Well, our smelter's not running right at the moment, so that helps a lot. So we're not depleting the battery. We're down to recharging, so... Uh, Let's, uh, I'm going to get back to building, and before I throw some more stuff into the smelter, this thing really consumes a lot of power, and as we start getting into the rest of the uh, other uh, production factories and whatnot, uh, power is going to be a pretty good concern for us, so... We need to find some more ores. Oh, that's full. Uh, all right, let's get the building. We might as well get some more of these going. Some more steel, I know we're gonna need that. Uh, probably, let's get 10 motors into the queue and get another 10 of those going. And some basic computers. All right, well, as I get those parts and we get stuff being built, I will catch back up with you here in a little bit. Okay, I think our uh, items that we need for our fabricator are just about done. And I don't know if you can see them or not. Let me get out over here. But you can see our wind turbines are spinning a, a bit faster. And although the battery is depleting, uh, it's going to be depleted in 56 minutes, which is fine. That's an hour. Uh, the smelter will be done 
uh, processing what I've loaded up and in there here shortly so it'll get back to recharging so I think we're in pretty good shape now as long as our weather holds up and our windmills keep uh, producing but I know that they we will be hitting some slower periods of time in there but that's okay we've got the windmills up there let's see if we got the rest of our items ready for the fabricator and I 50 yet yeah, that's what we needed let's uh, get this fabricator built there we go and you know what that means that means here I'll show you let's get into the fabricator uh, where are you at here, fabricator? So if you look at production, oh, yeah, that's food sequencer. Fabricator, there we go. All these items now can be produced out of the fabricator. We don't have to use the assembly bench, uh, which means our basic computers, our electromagnets, and our uh, construction components can get pulled in and processed here. Now, one of the other things that's great, it's a mod, it's, a quality, it's by quality of life, and it's uh, easy inventory or a quota inventory. So you can set these different things to produce. So say we want to set right now, we set the electromagnet for 20 so that we always have 20 on hand. And what it will do is set that up and then the fabricator will start producing it probably should have pulled it in uh, but we need copper wire so I'll have to still produce the copper wire and that will be the next item that we get built is the wire factory or the wire uh, bin and let's uh, but let me go ahead and get some of these other things set uh, construction components let's set that at 100 I know it can get started with it basic computers let's set it at 100 those of course will require wire uh, the rest of the stuff we don't need to worry about right at the moment but it is producing construction components so that will take the pressure off of the assembly bench and it means we don't have to hand feed the uh, elements into it so let's uh, do this uh, production I just got the motor so we got to leave that in there and it's probably missing large tubes and copper wire so let's get this up here we'll get some more copper wire into the production here uh, we'll get another hundred of that going uh, we also need uh, these, so let's get another 20 of those going. Uh, let me check something. All right, what do we need to get the wire bin going? We don't. We need large tubes and we need electromagnets. We don't really need the motors, so I'm going to actually cancel those motors out over here. Uh, no sense in building that. We do need the large tubes and we do need the copper wire, so we'll get those going. And once I have the wire bin ready to build, I will uh, get back with you. In the meantime, I will continue to mine stone and just kind of keep the products going. Well, while we're waiting, I did get another windmill going, and I see a unknown signal that is dropping very, very close. So I'm going to run over there and uh, get this, grind it down, and take advantage of some resources out of it. And hopefully we get some good things like aluminum plates, maybe. Because uh, unless we find bauxite, we are going to be in a world of hurt in being able to build some, uh, just like uh, uh, storage bins. All 
Alright, what do we got here? Let's see. Let's get this turned off. Ah, cow suit. Uh, I don't know how many of those I've gotten, but I've gotten a bunch. Uh, and we did get three aluminum plates. Alright. Uh, uh, motors. Oh, basic computers. Uh, a better... Uh, a, a better welder. That's excellent. All right. Let's uh, grind this thing down. Now, one of the things that... Uh, once we kind of get uh, our production line set up uh, through our... all the way to our plate stamp, which will be the next thing that we will try to get set up, uh, I am going to build a recovery vehicle uh, to take advantage of these batteries. With resources as minimal as they are, we really can't build much in the way of batteries. Uh, there's some alkaline batteries that are not rechargeable uh, that we could build, but they're not they're not all that good, so... I'll, what I can do is grind these down, and then uh, with the vehicle that I got in mind, we'll be able to bring these batteries back and weld them into the base, uh, weld them into other vehicles. So right now, though, we'll just grind them down. And let's uh, get this stuff back to base, and we'll get uh, the stuff into the uh, smelter the stuff that we've ground down and take advantage of the resources now unlike the survival kit all I got to do is just throw the scrap into the smelter and it'll it'll grind it down uh, I don't have to kind of tell it how much and all of that which is a lot nicer let me tell you so we'll uh, just do this Let's see, we've got uh, steel scrap. That can go in, that can go in, that can go in. Now the aluminum scrap can't because uh, I need the regular refinery for that. Uh, this smelter cannot refine aluminum or bauxite. And that's an advanced computer, so none of these we can throw into here. It will not grind uh, or recover that scrap. So we'll just throw this over here into the bin and save it for when we can. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's put that in there. Uh, let's move this up. And let me do this. It'll be nice. Character tools. And drop that down. I think about the best we're going to be able to get is the next level of these tools. So we'll just kind of keep hoping that uh, we can kind of pick those up. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Uh, now typically this other stuff, I like to put it over into here, since it's mainly food processor, stuff like that that in there, put the tomatoes in there, the fertilizer, um, and the cucumbers. And I'm still good on food. Let's put that up there. Now uh, we can store the organics. Uh, oh, I should have put that those aluminum plates over there. All right, when we, uh, when I get the parts to weld up that wire bin, I will catch back up with you. I think I just about have the stuff I need. Uh, I've already got the steel plates in there. Let's see if we can get this uh, wire factory up and running. And there we go. Oh, this is great, because now this, we can set this up to produce our wire over here. So let's get this set up. Uh, the control wire. Uh, let's have it produce 200 wire at all times. And it should be getting started. I believe it is. 
production yet. There it goes. Uh, and so those wires being pulled as quickly as possible by the fabricator. And that means we don't need to uh, make wire over here anymore. I'll let this... Yeah, let's cancel that out because uh, I still have to make my tubes and my motors over here. So let's... Uh, we'll just grab this wire. And I still have to make my steel plates. So actually, while we're at it, let me get another hundred plates going, because I know we're going to need that. And let's get the wire over here. Uh, the fabricator, we'll throw this into the fabricator. That'll help it. And it'll get these built. I will catch up with you when we're ready to get the extruder built. I think I have all of my components that I need to get the extruder up and running. Let's see, yeah. Except for the 20 steel plates, but I'm preserving that. Uh, now, we can, if we look at our production here for the extruder, we could build girders, uh, large tubes, and small tubes. Again, those, these two items were produced by the assembly bench. We can now stop having to produce those over there. So right now, uh, with the wire done and that, I think if we go back over here, that should be everything except motors, I believe. Uh, yeah, all of these are produced. I think this is produced in the fabricator. That's the wire bin. Uh, well, these two batteries, we don't worry about that. That's that They're going to be able to produce that in the assembler. I know the acid power cells we can produce in the assembler. That I'm not gonna. I'm not getting too concerned about those. I'm going to just kind of forego alkaline batteries. They're kind of useless, to be honest with you. Uh, once you build them and they use up the power, then you can't uh, recharge them. So right now, the only thing that's left over here is producing the steel plates, and so I've got that going in here. Uh, so let me grab these two items out of here, uh, and the motor. And I don't think we need motors for the assembler. We might, but, uh, let me go, uh, get these into the extruder, and we'll get it set up. Inventory, let's, uh, go ahead and put that in there and that in there. Now the extruder pretty much uses iron only. That's all that uh, these products need or these items need. So let's go to the control panel and let's set these each up for a hundred. Actually the large will set it up for like 60. There we go. So, let's see. Oh, I suppose we're out of iron. Uh, let's check something. Oh, we got another unknown signal. It's actually pretty close. So, uh, I'm going to run over there and get that here in a little bit. But let's... Uh, let me see what we got going down here. Let me see if we've got any... Uh, of course, we're all out of iron. Uh, let me go grab some stone. And we'll get that thrown in there. And I will get back with you when we're uh, ready to go get that unknown signal. Alright, I'm sitting here in the buggy. Uh, let's go get that uh, unknown signal. And uh, we can... Uh, 
get back, I think I have a problem with building the assembler portion. And I'll show that to you when we get back. But let's go get this unknown signal. Snap our line. Poof, there it goes. Let's see if we can get over here without killing ourselves. Slow down a little bit. It's a little bit rougher terrain. So let's not uh, blow up the buggy. Still faster than running over there. Which is what I was going to do, but then I decided we might as well just uh, bring the buggy over. And what we should do is turn that on. Just in case something pops up that we didn't catch before. Okay, let's kind of sneak right on down into here. There it is. As long as it's not one of those roly-poly ones. No. Perfect. Let's park this. Hop out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you know what? All right. Well, let's get everything out of this. And steel plates, that's nice. And let's get this thing turned off. I wonder. All right. This is going to sound crazy. But I want to push this back. back to camp if I can let's see let's see what we can do here let's see if it will work uh, turn this off I got plans for that uh, small medium oh you know what this might make it easier if I turn that on there we go this maneuvered around. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if this will push. It is... Alright, I tell you what. When I get back to camp with this, I will... Uh, catch up with y'all later unless something drastic happens hopefully we're not going to damage it Well, we're, looks like we're going to have some success here in getting this back. I didn't crash. I didn't blow anything up. And so we're just going to park this right up here. Oh, just right up here out of the way. All right. That is excellent. Let me uh, get this thing parked. And I'll finish demantling that, except for the uh, medium cargo thing itself. Let's get this over here. Parked, all right. Of course, didn't get any uh, ores or metals that we found. So let's uh, get, uh, that's, might as well turn this. Turn six off and 
we can hop out. And let's uh, get this hooked back up. There we go. It's all hooked up, so we're good. And let me go. I guess I could push this over a little bit closer. I can do that by hand here. We should be good. All right. All right, so let me grind this stuff off. I am, what I am going to do is, well, when we start building vehicles, which appears to be fairly soon, I am going to merge this in. Let's see, let's get that light off of there. On. Get the last of it. I don't want to damage the cargo bin. And I will take the battery off of this as well. Using off scrap, I can't detach it. Alright, so we now have a medium cargo bin that we'll be able to put onto our first or our cargo vehicle hopefully we can find a couple of more of those but I'm gonna build a recovery vehicle first all right so let me get this scrap thrown in here let's see we can throw that in that in that can go in that can go in the aluminum cannot I think the light bulbs can that cannot and that cannot but the wire scrap can go in there so that's good and let's uh, get this other scrap in over here. And we'll throw the uh, steel in over here since this is where it's going to be produced. All right, so I was mentioning we could be at a halt for the assembler. I was really kind of hoping we were going to be able to get it built today. But as you can see, it needs 10 metal grids. Well, we can build everything except the 10 metal grids. We don't have cobalt. We can process it in the smelter if we could find cobalt. So that's going to be the holdup on pretty much anything that we have here. Uh, so, I tell you what, we're just going to kind of keep producing, and I think in our next episode, uh, we're going to start working on a recovery vehicle, and we're going to start uh, scanning for more uh, ores. We, we really need to find, we really need to find cobalt and, oops, sorry about that, we really need to find cobalt and bauxite. So, uh, that's it. So, I'm going to run out there, and uh, I'll catch up with you when we get down to that unknown signal. And see what we can, see what we got there. Alright, here we are. We're just about there. Uh, okay. Well, let's see if we got anything good in here. Uh, ah, food, uh, that's always good. That'll be handy when we get ready to build our farm. Uh, let's push this over. Ah. push this over. Come on, there we go. There we go. All right. Ah, rainbow gloves. I can't tell you how many of those I got. Let's grind this down and we'll get that back over to camp. All 
All right. I told you I was going to use utilize these batteries. I'm going to mark this since it's reasonably close to camp. And I think in the next episode, we're going to build that recovery vehicle because I think we're going to be about as much, can build about as much as we can. Uh, so let me do this. And new at current, and we're just going to call it battery. And it should be fine since uh, I've got trash recovery turned off and this should not go away. So we'll uh, leave that there and come back once we have the recovery vehicle and grab that thing. Well, I think that's about, we're going to be, that's just about another day. Uh, some successes, some failures, you know. We didn't find any ore, which is disappointing. But we did get uh, some of the production line put together with the wire bin and the extruder and uh, the fabricator. Uh, just disappointed that we weren't able to get the assembler all built. But hopefully we will be able to find some cobalt and be able to start making metal grids. I believe the fabricator can make metal grids. Oh yeah, the fabricator can make metal grids, I think. Let me double check that. Otherwise we'd be pretty much uh, SOL. Yes, the fabricator can make metal grids, we just need the cobalt for it. All right, well, with that, I think we are in pretty good shape. We're, we're making progress, uh, and uh, we've got a production facility going. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and we'll see you all, see you space engineers, in the next episode.